Welcome to another fun video where I'm going to go through some penny rolls that I picked up from my LCS, my local coin store. Um, so I have here um, five or five circulated rolls or mixed rolls. I have 1962D. I got a stack of these in there. This one has been opened. So I'm going to open that one to see what's going on with those. And I might open the rest of those off camera. I got some 1976s. I guess these were uncirculated rolls that have been opened and checked out. Um, and I might open those off camera, but I figured I'd open one there. And this is a 1959 roll. And if you look at the edge here, this edge looks like it was opened and re-rolled. You see how it's kind of shoved in there and just kind of going to, this is where they uh, kind of pulled it apart to see what date that roll was, 1959. This side, do you see how tight that roll is and it's nice and round? That is a actual machined rolled end. So if you ever get a roll that is listed as unopened and it comes like this, 90% of the time it's going to be a re, uh, unopened and a hand rolled end there, which I might try to do in the video just to show. We'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, well, let's uh, get into these and see what's going on. Um, and hopefully we find some good stuff in these. This is from the new set of coins uh, that I've gotten, some, some new pennies. So this may be different from the, the big old box that I've been going through. So I don't know what's inside these. Might be better, might be worse. We'll find out. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> Coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. All right. For starters, let's crack this. I'm going to do this 62 and this 96 roll here and just get a good look at it. And see what's going on. I'm going to try to open this up without having to rip this paper and you can see the toning on that coin because this paper was probably pushed up against it and if we you can see the ring of tone around here which we'll be able to see better when we pour it out see if I can get it out without messing up the roll and we can see how red these uh, are here on the inside and the outside is has the color on it because that's where it was touching the paper here is the ender and you see how it has toned up and and browned because the paper was touching that side so let's see if i can get the rest of this out of here i'm probably just going to tear into the roll yep pretty red there and here is, is that the ender? Here is the other ender. And you can see where the paper was touching this edge there. Um, yeah, I really mashed in on that, that end, it looks like, when I was trying to tump it out. There you go. You see how nice and tight that wrap is? Okay, um, so I'm probably going to go through these and just uh, take a quick look at them and maybe tube them up. I don't know. We'll see how things go. All right, let's jump out this 1976 and just take a quick look at these. Um, I'll check my album, see if I have any room for a nice one. Uh, this roll's taped. I'm just going to rip into this one. I'm just going to rip into this one. This is an old roll here. This roll may not be, well, it's not new, but it's not, probably not, that's not an original roll that the 62s came in, I don't think. It may have been a re-roll that someone bought off of, off of eBay or something.
All right, that is done there. Can you see the ender from where the paper was touching it there on the 76? And again, some other red 76s uh, look like I have some surface bodiness on them and such. So again, I will go through these, see what's going on, and we'll crack, crack the uh, 1959 real quick after I get these out of the way. All right, so I've got some of the uh, coins from here to check against my album. I uh, took a look, I do have some nice ones, but those might be slightly nicer, so I might upgrade. And I'll put the extra in some of these extra foil line rolls. I'm gonna toss, probably just toss these into my bulk copper stack collection for when, you know, copper goes to like $400 an ounce, which will probably never happen, but <laughs> if I ever need some copper, I'll have it there. So let's uh, crack into this roll here. So I'm just going to take this side and undo it here and try to, yeah, yeah, look at that. That side is not rolled. So this was opened, not rolled very well. Yeah, so there we have it right there. Now if I were going to re-roll this, I would just take and, I don't know if I can get this, I just take and just kind of do something like that. Just kind of crimp it a little bit. I'm just kind of grabbing it and twisting it down like that. And I would just keep going around until I had it all crimped and rolled like that. All the way down. Hey, look at that. We have an original rolled, un un unsearched, unopened roll here. Huh? <laughs> so, um, if it's not in a tight, tight roll like that, it's probably been opened and looked through. All right, so let me get this one dumped out here. Um, I don't know, I'm probably not going to Yeah, well, if this roll's already been ripped, so let's just rip it. Just gonna rip into it. And anyway, this roll. There we go. So that roll is trash. This is not an original roll. I mean, it is an it is all BUs. It's probably a BU roll that someone opened up looking for stuff and then put in and re-rolled to sell on maybe eBay or something as a uncirculated roll. There is some line of gunk on these here. It wraps around the edges. So those I might not keep. Um, some of these are in quite a nice shape for a 59s. So I'm going to go through these. I'm going to take a good look at the date for any that you can find a double die obverse on these. So I will get these, get through these, see which ones I'm going to keep and probably put them in an in extra of these full rot rolls that I have, that I've had sitting here. And uh, I'll let you know if anything interesting is here and I might check my Okay, well, my phone ran out of space there, so hopefully um, that saved all that. Um, but I will check these 1959s out and see if there's anything going on, and I will let you know what's happening with these. All right, got the 59s rolled up here. Um, and that is all for the um, dated stuff. Let's get into these. I'm going to crack these two rolls and I'll crank these two rolls. We'll top them out, see what's in here. 
and see if anything catches our eye when dumping out and then we will go through them and see if there's any finds in here. A3 ender here and a brown scent on the other end. So let's take a quick look here, zoom out just a little bit so we can see it in the camera. 80s, 70s, so 90. So this looks just like a random mix of 70s, 80s, and 90s. First glance here, nothing standing out. Some things to check for, 83 for doubling on the reverse. And that one would be awesome to find one of those. Um, 88, I'm going to check for the flared FG or the um, reverse 89. What would, you know, whatever it's called now. I think it's going by flared FG. So, some stuff to check in there. Um, a few other things. And then let's crack open this roll. There is a circulated scent on that end. And a shield scent on that end, which is circulated, dirty. Hmm, all right, well, some 60s. 60s, 90s, there's a 2023, so this just looks like a mix of um, memorial and shield scents here. Okay. That is what we got here. Let me flip through these. There's some 60s in here and some things to check for. There's a 98, we'll check for the wide AM there. Um, but this looks like uh, just a couple mix of circulated scents. So we'll see what's going on with these and then uh, I'll be right, right back and we'll let you know and we'll get into those last three rolls for this hunt. Okay, no finds in those rolls. So let's crack into these. I did put uh, 74 up here to check against my album, but it isn't the greatest quality coin, but we shall see, we shall see. Let's crack into these rolls. It might just be more circulated stuff that might not have anything in it. I don't know. Never know until you open up the roll and see what's inside. We got a 2009 on one end. So let's get this poured out. Well, there's some nice 2009s. I'm wondering, oh, they have a different kind of look to them. Are these the mint set 2009s in here again? There's a, some decent old coins, 2010 out of Denver. That's not bad, that might uh, upgrade. It's a nice 74 out of Denver. There is a See, here, take a look at these. You can see how one has a bit more of a yellowish tint to them. Let's zoom in a little bit. This one over here is shiny, orange, reflective. This one has more of a mat matted finish. Yellow look to it. I think we got a couple of the... Uh, they might have some of the uh, mint set. Because the mint set was produced on copper planchets for that year. 1970S. I'm going to put that over here and look at it right now. That is a large date. Large date, nothing going on with it. So, large date, nothing going on with this one. Decent, decent quality coin there. 68, 68, 69. That one is a regular 2009. There's a 1960 large date. Yep, large date. Decent quality coin there. There's a 99. And it looks like it is a normal, um, normal gap. So that is a close AM, which is normal on these. Over on this side in here, if you find any type of die clashes in here, 
that could make this coin worth a lot of money and most people don't check over in this area so if you're checking out your 99s do look over in that area for any type of die clashes and check on maddieclashes.com i believe it is mad die clashes 72 denver 29 so there's some nice stuff in here there's another 1960 looks like another large date not a another one of those that looks like a normal oh here's another one yeah see so it looks like oh both of these are 2009 denvers i don't know if you can tell the difference but this is definitely different um different quality coin there so it looks like a 2009 there's another one this one is a normal there's another 2009 that one now it's got a fingerprint on it i already have one of those on both that could go either way just the fingerprints really throwing me off it kind of looks like it's might be Proof set or mint set and not circulation coins there. So this is a circulated one, definitely. There's another circulated one, definitely. So we'll check that out. There's another 60. So there's some interesting stuff in here, some nice coins to check out and look at. And I've got this all over the place. There's another one that looks like it could go either way with the surface issues. That's a circulated one. That looks like a circulated one. And that one's probably, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. That one, I do not know. So let's do this. All right, grab my scale. We're gonna weigh these. Let's see if I can, I'm just gonna turn it sideways here so I can get the thing in the shot. And I don't have to move all the coins for the lid. Okay, there we go. So these should all be the zinc weight of 2.5. 2.4. 2.4. So if we weigh two of them at a time, it should be five. If we put it on another two, it should be 10. Because 2.5 times two is five. 15. All of those are all circulating coinage, all zinc core, copper coated zinc. This one is the one that, no, oh, let's make that zero. This one is the one I'm curious about. Oh, I can hold on to it. Let's see, 3.1 as expected. All of these should be 3.1, 3.09, close enough. Um, there is a little bit of wiggle room within a, I believe a, you get about a tenth of a gram or so, or two tenths of the gram. Copper, another copper one. And this one, copper. Nice, so we got five copper 2009s, and then the rest are zincs. So we might have more in these sets there. So we will check out this next roll here. I've kind of pushed all the rest of the coins a little bit more out the way there. So let's check this roll. Maybe we have some more 2009s in it. Maybe we won't. And then we'll crack this roll. Oh, run away. Pretty nice 2003 out of Denver. There. That was definitely a chicken against the album. That one looks like it had some surface issues. 1984. You can see it looks like zinc is showing out under the copper there. It could be plating issues, it could be something got onto it. Here's a night. Wow, that is a really reflective, shiny 1990 out of Denver. Almost thought it was a proof there. Look how reflective that thing is. Well, you can see the reflection of the toothpick pretty clearly there. 
man, that was a very proof like 90. Got some circulated coins here. There's another 1970S. Oh, you can't see down here off of the thing, the camera. So, yep, let's see. So, there's some circulated stuff, some nicer stuff we will check out. Uh, that's pretty nice. 12, 2012. That's uh, 2003. It looks like it has been replated. I wonder if people, someone was testing out plating techniques on these coins before they used the um, coins that they were replating. I mean, if I were trying to figure out the replating purposes, that's a normal one. Zinc, copper coated zinc one. Um, I would use coins like this. It don't matter if they are ruined or not. Or like this. Um, so yeah, there's some good stuff in here to check out. Alright, let me push this a little bit out of the way. Hopefully I wasn't zoomed in too far. And let's check this last roll here. It's probably another roll of circulated stuff. The other one wasn't too impressive, so I'm going to assume this one is the same way. Yeah, this one looks like more of a actual circulation roll here. Although, we do have a wheat in this roll. 1953 out of Denver. Nice. Had a wheat and a roll. So, let's see. Kind of got stuff all over. I'm trying. To, hopefully, you can see everything. I'm, I'm zoomed out. So, hopefully, you can see everything well. I'm trying to keep it all on camera. I've got pennies everywhere. It's the only wheat I see. And all of these look like they are pretty well circulated in this roll. So... This looks like more of a circulated roll, and this looks more like a collection or album that got uh, broken up in a little bit and se separated and sorted out. There's another cup of coated zinc, 2009 there. All right, well, let me go through these, see what we got going on here, and I will be back and let you know what we have. All right, so out of all those rolls, um, didn't really have much, so we're just going to break down everything. Um, I did get some more nice coins to check against the album. We had a total of 12 2009s there. And then we had five of the copper 2009s from the mint set. Um, out of the last rolls, we did get a 1979 proof. Coin this one, the surfaces are really, um, got a really kicked layer of stuff on it. So. Very circulated proof, but it is a proof, and we did hit the one wheat set. 1953 out of Denver. So that is all for the finds. I only went through five of the circulated rolls because I needed to check on some of these um, dated rolls. And I'll probably go through some more of those off camera because I think I got mostly 1962 out of Denver rolls. Um, so I'll do that on my own time. And uh, if there's anything in there, I'll make note of it next time we uh, uh, do a video over some of the more uh, circulated rolls, the mixed rolls and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. All right, um, after after the outro here, I'll put in the um, my personal album and show you if I had any filter upgrades there. Um, but anyways, I'll put that at the end. If you're interested in checking that out, please feel free to watch to the end and check that out. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I wanna give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Okay, so for upgrades, I'm going to upgrade this 1962 here out of Denver. Uh, just 
one of the ones that I pulled out the roll was just much cleaner and nicer than the one that's in there. It has a little gunk on the edges and a little dirt on the surfaces. Maybe a couple scratches there. Try and hold the phone steady, so sorry for the shakiness. The only other coin I have to talk about is the 76. Um, the one in there has some dirty spots and stuff, so I'm going to upgrade this one. I found this one in the roll, although I do have a couple more rolls I'm going to go through, so we'll see if uh, I'm going to upgrade it with this one or a nicer one if I find a nicer one. So I'm going to set that one aside, go through the rest of the rolls and see what else we got, but I will be upgrading that one. That is all for the upgrades.